All right, everyone. Hey, let's go. Hey, we're going to continue the nightmare campaign. We're going to go inside some barrows. We're going to barrow downs. Uh, joining me, as always, is the purple wizard himself, Joe. Hello. Hi. We were just, uh, Joe and I just started talking about our decks, and then I, I figured, well, shoot, let's record this because <laughs> it's kind of good strategy. So go ahead. Uh, please continue with what your strategy was here with your changes to your deck. Well, I have pretty much no allies in my deck. I have three copies of uh, the Halfling Bounder, which with a side quest uh, in the directory display, you can cancel when revealed effects. So I figured that was useful. But for the most part, having allies in this quest is not a good idea. Uh, they just get stolen left and right, and, um, and it's hard to rely upon them. So you wind up wasting a lot of resources when you bring into allies, unless you can just overcome the pure energy of the counter deck where they try to steal them. Um, so I'm I shied away from allies. I just have a couple for a couple reasons. One of them being, um, most of my deck is designed to not engage anything and to shoot things. But there is one particular card in this quest that is absolutely brutal, uh, and that is frozen by fear. And it basically says for the rest of the round, players cannot trigger action or response effects. Uh, that's a stupid thing. Yeah, it is awful. I think it's one of the worst treacheries in the game. I mean, you, I've heard you guys argue that the blank, the text cards, uh, is the worst treachery. Or that whenever that effect comes into play, I think this is worse. Yeah, well, it's, it's a it's a take on that, right? It's it's a different version of that, right? Uh, but it is just brutal. And so, when you play this quest, you just have to be aware of what that will do to you at all times. Right. So when I was looking at what I could do with my deck, I thought about buffing up Aowen so that she would be a you know strong quest or strong defender. The willpower is really valuable in this quest, and so you can use it to defend with at times. You can use it to... Uh, I don't think you can use it to attack any moment, but it's great for questing, and there are times when you defend with it. And with Aowen, that's perfect, except for uh, her golden shield, which she could get, is triggered by a response. Mm. And so if I'm in a situation where I need to defend with her and frozen by fear has already hit me, she has to defend with her defense. And all of a sudden now I'm really in trouble. Right. And the rest of the action cards I have in my hand, I got a bunch of action things I can basically do with Haldir. Um, I can quick strike. I can hands upon the bow. Um, I can faint. Um, I've got ways to kill things that whether they're engaged with me or not, I have actions for them. But if I can't play an action card, because Frozen by Fear has rendered them moot, then I'm in a situation where I pretty much am screwed if I have an enemy engaged with me. So my goal is to keep my threat down, not engage with things, and have options for when I do engage with them, but at critical times be able to cancel, whether it's through Test of Will or Halfling Bounders, Frozen by Fear, which can really completely mess with my life. Makes sense. Yeah. Well... That is an excellent analysis of how you should tech against this quest. I'm just bringing my normal deck. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a pretty big sideboard. So, I mean, I might uh, pop in two more Test of Wills. I have a thematic quibble with this in campaign mode. Mm -hmm. uh, and... That is the boon we earn at the end of this. Okay. Uh, and that is, if we complete this quest, we earn the Ho Tom Bombadil boon. Right. Uh, which, I, it doesn't make any sense why you earn that at the end of this and not at the beginning of this. Right. I, I, I don't get it. Um, I think maybe it must have been because this was a special quest they wanted to give you something after you completed it, but thematically, if you're playing the campaign... It doesn't make any sense because Tom comes to help you while you're in the Barrow Downs. And if you wind up earning this after that point, that's he, in the books, he comes to the edge of his territory and says, this is as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going any further. Right. Um, and so calling for him to help after that seems um, <laughs> very anti-thematic, actually. Um, so I... I don't know if you were want to do this here, but I would, in all of my future campaigns, um, grab that card at the beginning of this quest because that's when it's given in the stories. Hey, I'm fine with that. 
Okay. And it also makes the most sense and is needed here, where there's a ton of stuff you have to cancel. So to anybody else watching, uh, <laughs> you have my permission for whatever that's worth to you. Grab this boon at the start of this quest and not the end. It makes more sense here. Yeah. And you know what's great? It's your it's our own game. We can do it. Yeah. So that's yours. Take it. Uh, okay, take control. There we go. Give me this boon. I argued for it. I get it. I get to have it now. Right. Uh, although I think I want a mulligan. So put that out here first. Um, yeah, mulligan. Uh, that's solid. Let me see your hand, please. Oh yes. Um, visibility, everybody. Oh, nice. Okay, scout ahead. Can't go wrong there. And canceling. I like it. Yeah. Okay, for mine, I discard everything except card draw. And I also, I got steward in my discard already, unlike other times where I've just had to dig and dig and dig. So I'm going to draw four cards to replace those. Elven Light, thank you. And Lembus. All right. Oh, this is about a perfect starting hand. I just realized that. Okay. Yeah, your, your hand is... So, and we decided so one to thing... Auto. Okay, yes, we did. Cancel. A lot of canceling needed in this quest. Um, so one of the things I realized when setting up for this quest that I'd never thought about before because guarded cards are still new, this quest is perfect for playing a guarded card in the first round. Okay. Uh, and you'll see why once we get to... Uh, 1B. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we've mulliganed. We've got our first hand. Should we read 1A? Yeah, sure. So uh, we set each copy of the Great Barrow, Standing Stones, and Hollow Circle aside out of play, and we shuffle the encounter deck. Okay. Easy peasy. We are at the house of Tom Bombadil. On the fog of the Baradown. Skip the quest phase. All right, at the end of the round, place one progress. It's a free turn. That always means good things. Don't forget to grab your boon that you fought for. Uh, yes, there it is. Okay. Uh, control N? Sure. Okay. So we have a free round, basically, to deal with whatever is on this guarded card. Skip the quest phase. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we don't skip the combat phase, or we don't skip the travel phase. Right, 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 right. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy... <laughs> Clam drink. At the end of the round. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I'm going to add this to the victory display just to get it out of there. We did it. We drew one less card. Okay. Our Mr. Underhill. We have old bogey stories. We have Frodo. Okay. All right. Uh, let's buy a Glam drink. Let's see what we get. All righty. So guarded. Enemy or location. The groping arm. Goodbye. I'm waiting for you. Goodbye. Location. Not what we wanted. While North Downs is in the staging area, characters use their willpower instead of defense when defending against white enemies. Oh, I remember this one. This is, yeah. When I played this, my whole goal was to get Rosie's uh, willpower ridiculous so she could defend <laughs> just like insane amounts. And she didn't have to um, pass it. Mm -hmm. But she was defending with her sword thaned eight or nine willpower. It was great. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, it's not an enemy. That's a bummer. Uh, I don't mind this, actually. Because I don't want to rush through this, uh, uh, through the second uh, quest phase okay. stage. And so having five more quest points on here is fine with me. Okay. Take my time. Uh, all right, so I'm also going to go ahead and buy Scout Ahead. And I will go ahead and buy this dagger. Yeah, all right, so Haldir is hitting four, maybe five. Yep, and have you bought everything you want to do, or what do you got? All right, discard Elven Light, which I just put right there. Um, so I don't have... I'm going to give it to Galdor, actually. Okay, can I make a recommendation here? Yeah. Don't buy any allies this round. I wasn't planning on it. I'm looking okay. for my uh, my toys. Right. Okay. The Dream. Uh, no reforged. Bummer. Okay, um, crud. Crud, crud, crud. I don't like any of these cards right now. I guess that's just a good one to get in my 
in my uh, discard pile. I am going to put a Lembus on Dine. Hmm. Oh, my, my threat should be 24 instead of 27, thanks to Aowen. Right. I was trying to empty my hand, but I can't. Okay, I'm good. Uh, okay, uh, if you're having trouble getting set up there, do you want me to use Galadriel on you? I'm going to draw a card. Hold on. I shuffled, right? Because he was... Yep, I did shuffle. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that this round. Thank you. Elrond's Council. Good card. Good for me. All right, I'm done. Okay, let's travel uh, to North Downs then. Because we're skipping the quest phase. Yes, we are. Oh, I can't grab Glam Drink. I tried like three times like an idiot. I got it. Thank you. All right, combat. What combat? <laughs> what enemies? We're, we're in the house of Tom Bombadil. This is fine. Right. I lost my uh, my weapon out there on the North Downs somehow. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> or maybe I've heard rumors that it's out there. That's perhaps probably what it is. You might have to scout ahead and try to find it. Hey, that, that'd be a good call. Yeah. All right. At the end of the round, we place a progress. Here we go. All right. When revealed, we add the hollow circle to the staging area, and each player reveals an encounter card. The hollowed circle. It's immune. And to travel there, we got to find a white enemy. Not the wrong one. The white enemy. And we put it in play and gauge to defeat us. Fun. Okay. Ready for some cards? Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, that guy's ugly. And Ancient Barrow. One is... Or it's X plus one... Wait, X is 1 plus the number of face-down cards under. Oh. After H and Byro enters play, each player plays his ally he controls. Nice. This is exactly why you do not buy an ally in the first round unless you really need to. Yep, that worked out nice. Thank you. All right, cool. Uh, what do we do here? Uh, that would be uh, 2B now. Okay. So at the end of the refresh phase, we're each going to raise our threat by an additional one. All right. We got to get rid of the hollow circle. That we do. Uh, okay, new round. Roll in. Okay. Reforged! Yay! I got it. Uh, I can't believe it. All right. That's, that's actually pretty freaking amazing. All right. Reforged for two. Right. Nice. I'm using Galadriel for myself here. Yep. Yeah, I'm good now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Double back. Very nice. Um. What do you think about playing allies now? Go for it. Mm, go for it, he says. I still don't have my elven light. I'm sorry, I still don't have... <laughs> <laughs> you just put it out there, what are you saying? Well, no, I don't have it. You know, I, it's out there. Fair. All right, um, let me think. How can I empty my hand? That's that's my goal right now. I could spend two of Frodo's plus one, then two cards... Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Do you mind if I spend Frodo's? Uh, no. I mean, it might be nice to have one on him so we can cancel something if we need to. But uh, other than that, I don't have any use for him. You got to test it, Will. We're fine. And Peril. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Got to discard two cards for playing the Guardian. And then I'm going to spend two resources. All right, tell you what, I'll, I'll keep one on there, and I'll, I'll do it like that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I am not buying anything. Okay. Hey, oh, the dog, we go. Okay. All right, I am going to drop my threat. Who? What are we questing against here? It's my choice, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Scout ahead, I say. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to go one, two. She's questing for four, six. Questing for ten. I got AON for four. Sounds good. Fourteen against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, this is mine. So that one again. Fun. And okay, we just kind of. Yuck. Okay, that was five more threat, bringing us to twelve. So we only make two progress. That's unfortunate. That's not good. No. <laughs> Stunned silent. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, well, to keep her in play, hold on. To keep the Linda Navigator in play, I'm going to discard a card, which then empties my hand, so I get to draw six. Okay. There's to the sea, to the sea. Daryl's runes. Get rid of this. Okay. I'm going to pull this back. Okay, there you go. Oh, what the heck do you want to do here? Well, we got problems that we have to defend with our willpower right now because of the North Downs out here. These guys are 30, so you're attacking for five? I am attacking for five, yeah. Defending with willpower? Yep, that's what we're doing. It's five? Yeah. Oh, that... Yeah, because a dying's ability does nothing. I think you just. What if you defended? What if you chumped this with your Linden Navigator? Okay. And then we have enough attack to kill one because I don't want to try to quest over them every single round right now. I'm okay with that. And uh, we now it's when he attacks and destroys a character, you're going to raise your threat by two. Mm, that's okay. But if you're willing to lose a character, I think this is a good option for us here. Oh, that's fine. I got right. I got plenty of characters to. Supplementer, so. Okay. Uh, okay, nothing there. She's dead. I gotta raise my threat by two per the effect. Okay. And then I can help attack with four. I got five over here. All right, so he's dead. I'm gonna play Faux Hammer. Oh, yeah, that works good. Mm, nice. Yeah, I got some options there. Uh, Darren's Runes. Actually, Excellent. since there's nothing else happening right now, I'm going to wait till I get the next card for next round. That is a smart move, my friend. Max, uh, your possible discards. Yeah. I think we're ready. I think so, too. Hmm. Ooh, another okay. forged. Okay. All right, so uh, Darren's runes. I don't know. Hey, what happened? What happened to Darren, anyways? Why? Why was he so ruined? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need two quick strikes, so I will drop drop one of those right now. Uh, okay, let's buy unexpected courage. I was going to go on Galadriel, but right now I think I put it on Haldir because I don't have Nenya yet. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, Halfling Bounder. Ah! Uh, oh, off the screen. <laughs> I haven't played this game enough to know what to, what not to do yet. <laughs> and Galadriel for Mihi. Ah, faint. Okay. Oh, very good. That will help us with this other barrel weight. I agree. All right, I will discard Elven Light. There we go. To C, to C. Oh, end of the round, uh, we have to raise it up by an extra one. You are absolutely right. Okay. I'm at 30. So okay. He's coming down no matter what. All right, uh, to the C, to the C. Who do I want to put in here? I could put in a healer. Because right now we're to. Uh, let's see. You, you could faint, though, couldn't you? Um, I can faint, and if we can get through this North Downs, we can travel to the other one. Right, okay. And it's only when it's in the staging area? Yep, okay. Right. Uh, okay, let me think here for a second. I think I will 
I kind of wish I had a more expensive ally in hand. That's actually the problem at the moment. So I think I'm just going to play another defender. Actually, I'm not going to actually use to the seat this, this turn. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. That is a good card. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to see that. All right. I'm gonna Keep you under 30. This. Yep, I'm going to be playing that one. Okay. Are we ready for questing? Yep. Okay. I got two of those I'm playing. And I'll send in Haldir, Aelin, Bounder, uh, that's nine with the Elrond's councils for me. Six from me and we're up again. Or do I have, do I have Frodo? You do. Then I'll send him in. I'm at 11. Okay. I, I just exhausted him. I assumed you were going to. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm in secrecy. Hey, wait. Oh, I should have pulled back. I, I did that wrong. I'm not going to recover it, but I should have. What'd you do? I should have pulled back Elven Light before I played the, uh, the Guardian. And then I could have discarded it to, to the C to the C okay. to reduce my, but I didn't do that. I played, yeah. I wasn't thinking. I forgot it was out, it was floating out there hmm. after I played the Guardian. Anyway, my mistake. Actually, I can still do it. Technically, you can just exhaust to the C to the C to, you know, you don't have to actually play a Noldor ally. And, Okay. I just, want to, right. I just want to get my Elven Lights out there so I can just keep drawing it back in. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. You can do that. Yep. All right. So we're questing... Uh, what would you send? Uh, what did I say? I said 11 with Frodo. Okay, so we're at 17 against 9. Here we go. Hut! Yay! Oh, Tom Bombadil! <laughs> it's a jolly old fellow for he's a jolly old fellow. Okay. That was my draw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want him? Uh, no, I think you want him. Sure. I ain't gonna say no to that. Yeah. All right. He's I don't want to engage any enemies. <laughs> he's committed to the quest, so that bumps me up to nine. All right. Okay, that's fine. We only added two threat. We added three willpower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We actually... uh, double back. I was going on scout ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, my nine with your nine, right? Uh, Eleven. Oh, great. Twenty against eleven is we make nine progress. So we do clear scout ahead. Excellent. So scout ahead, of course, is X plus four. X is the number of players. So we get to look at the top. Yes. Oh, baby. I know what my target is already. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, well, are you kidding? I can tell you what the shadow effects are going to be. Wow. Okay. Well, this one's going to the victory display. Yeah, getting one out of there. Um, Rearrange the rest. Let's see here. So, can unless it unless I actually engage one, we can't engage both these enemies. Right. So snipe them. Nope. Not quite. I can. I'm about to get uh, Glamdring. <gasps> yeah, you'll be up to seven. Yeah. So we leave him up there. Okay. M my concern is not the attacking both of them. It's trying to get both of these Frozen by Fears out of the deck. So mm -hmm. what we do, we can... And they're Surged, and they're Doomed One. Yeah, they're awful cards. The Shadow's not very nice on them either. Well, hey, but... what if we uh, plan on using Frodo? Well, here's what we can do. We shuffle it back in. If we uh, if we make one of these the shadow effects for the one we engage this round, mm -hmm. then we can plan the two we draw next round, and make that the uh, other frozen by fear shadow effect for one of the cards next round. Understood. What's this treachery? Uh, when revealed, attached to a questing hero you control counts as a condition attachment. I believe you have condition removal in hand. I do have it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what does it say? Limit one for hero. Attached hero's willpower is reduced to zero. Forced at the end of the round. Raise your start by one for each white enemy engaged with you. Uh, that'd be pretty bad. That's I think we plan on drawing the cold white next round. Yep. And... It's going to be this shadow. Uh, oh, stone ring. 
we can it's not a very nice card but it's we can do that without too much effort boom boom two cards we draw this will be the shadow on we're... let's put frozen by fear as the first shadow effect so we know we get it as a shadow effect so we're going to do this yes okay got it okay now to place everything in reverse order yeah Ooh. And then five minutes from now, we'll realize, oh, we forgot. Blah, blah, blah. All right. <laughs> there you go. Take your sword. Yeah. Glamdring. And we are traveling to the other North Downs. And I'm just leaving that shadow up there. Okay. All right. So since. So I'm taking this guy. I think you take the other guy and leave him out there. Oh, but you can snipe that barrel white. Oh, you're going to kill this guy by yourself? You can't kill him with this shadow effect until the end of the round attacking an enemy cannot take damage. Okay, what's he doing to me? While he's engaged with me, I can't gain resources from card effects. Oh, that's bad. So you just leave that one up there. Um, bring the other one down so he gets the shadow effect. And then I snipe this guy without you having to deal with him. I actually didn't read the shadow, so that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay, see? That's what I talk about. One of us paying attention. It's good. All right. Uh, you got the shadow effect. Kill. He's dead. Held your snipes. And I get a card, because Glamdring. Okay. We're set up here. All right, then... Thanks for your help, Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Again, the round shuffle... Oh, well, this sucks. What do we do? Well, what? setting all that up didn't matter. Told you it wouldn't matter. Where's the shuffle? Tom shuffles it in. Oh, Tom. Uh, well, we got rid of one of them at least. Nothing we can do about the rest of them. <laughs> All that work. Oh, no, because he shuffles the discard in too, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we probably could have killed both of them then. Uh, no, not really. Uh, we couldn't kill them. We could have done damage to it. but That's all right. Oh, well. I want to get my resources. Okay. Fair enough. All right, whatever. Hey. <laughs> ah. We had a plan. Yeah. You were right about five minutes later and be like, wait a second. Wait a second. That's where we screwed up. All right. All right, I'm going to pull back this element light. Uh, thread goes off by an extra one. Thank you. All right, now I have two element lights. That seems pretty good. All right, I haven't discarded anything yet. This guy, like that. I am tempted to use this reforged and get my armor out. I think I will. I'm going to use reforged to get ancestral armor. Now I just need to get the sentinel. Okay. I uh, used Galadriel on myself and got uh, another Elrond's Council. Okay. Dine's defending for five as a base. I will do that to put in a healer. Uh, okay, that's me. Okay. I think we are set to go then. Scout ahead or double back. That's your call. Let's do double back. All right. Eight from me. Uh, I'm going to keep Haldir back this round, because I think I don't need him. So I'm doing six. OK, 14 against four, five, six. Seems pretty good. Oh, we got to clear North Downs, though, too. Yeah, I can't really send any more. So I can do Haldir. Um, I could send one more, I guess. I'll send in Haldir. All right, you know, I'm going to send that one more, because you know how many times that matters? Every time. <laughs> okay, we got a three. Uh, so enemies are a little bit tougher, and yeah. they apply their... T oh, for the glove. All right, this might not matter. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we added five, so 11. We make 
six progress. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I think it was the right thing to add in those extra characters. Oops, oh, I don't control it. There we go. Okay. I guess this is a tricky decision here. Travel here. Yeah? Yeah. Um, because we want to get to that hollow circle at some point. But right now, with the stone ring up there, it would be a not a great time to go do it. Because it's gonna, everything's going to be tougher to get through. However, we do want to get through it. And the North Downs is another one that just keeps, especially with your strong defender, as being a nuisance here. Yeah, and I don't really have somebody I want to chump against it. I have a feint we could use. He's only attacking for three. I'd be defending for one. I mean, he could live. My um, guardian of Rivendell. Mm -hmm. he could live. Well, he'd be attacking for four if his stone ring was in the staging area. Oh, God, yeah, that's right. Um, I'd like to just go to the North Downs. Okay. Just get rid of these things. Okay. Because the more times we get rid of them, the better. Yeah. Even if we keep shuffling them back in. Uh, well, they've got the worst shadow effect, too. Let's see. Uh, plus two. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, what's this guy going to do? So hopefully we're going to kill it. He's going to die is what he's going to do. Die. All right. Is this I can't snipe him, but uh, is looks like it might be from the same piece of artwork. Those two. I love Stone it. ring and ancient barrel. Actually, you know what? It's like this. This goes over here. That's what it is. Okay. It's just zoomed in a little bit. All right. Anyway, how much are you attacking for? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven. seven. Oh, yeah. Bummer. Okay. I, I can actually I can snipe him with the black arrow. Oh, uh, that that doesn't seem worth it. Well, it's I, I can kill anything else already without a black arrow. So. No. Nah, I'm gonna snipe nah. anything to be this guy. Yeah. You think? I mean, I can t I'm defending for five against three. I feel pretty good. If you want to defend, then do it. Otherwise, I have no problem using the black arrow. i got other ways to get my attack up. I'll defend. All right. No. no. Oh. Boo. All right. So, no problem. And then I can attack for two. You're attacking for seven. He's dead. Yeah. And Calamdring gives me a card. Oh, look, Darren's Runes. We're not going to see Tom for a little bit now. No. Well, he's, we've seen him now at this point. He's been helpful. <clears throat> uh, new round? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Heed the dream. All right, I'm definitely playing that, so I'm going to try to find my sentinel. Uh, is Frodo with me or you right now? You. Okay. No sentinel, but I did find Glorfindel, which is very good. Uh, I've got a Darren's runes. There's Nanya. Got a Darren Drunes. And I think I dropped the Unseen Strike right now. Oh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Nanya! That'll help our questing. All right. I'm going to pull back two Elven Lights. There's some good. No, I want to use. Goodbye. Anyone's resource instead. Goodbye. Hmm. I discarded three cards to to the sea to the sea. A few more resources and get Glorfindel in play. Yep. That seems like a good thing. Yep. Pull that back. Oh, look at Gildor. Nice. Oh, also useful. Can't wait to lose all these allies. <laughs> That'd be great, right? That'd be really fun. All right, sweet. I think we're ready. Okay. Uh, I'll send in Frodo. I'm assuming we're going against double back? Uh, yes. All right, I'll send 10. I'm doing... Um, nine without Galadriel. Okay, we're only up against seven at the moment. So right now we're we're up by 12. Well, okay, before I can do this then, do you think we're going to try to travel to Hollow Circle this round? I guess it's my call, but um, because if we do, I want to keep both of Haldir's actions. Yeah, why don't you keep Haldir ready? Okay. I think it's a, I think it's a possibility. 
Okay. All right, I'm doing seven. And that's what's in the staging area. So we're up by ten. Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, let's let's Frodo that one back in. So we exhaust the ring. We spend a resource. Get shuffled in. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, it got replaced by discard all resources in play. That'd be one from me. Each player raises his threat by. Oh, I never raised my threat an additional point at the end of the. Oh round. yeah, me neither. Good call. Um, uh, raise our halfling bounders going to cancel this one. Okay. And then my card. Ancient borrow. Uh, there goes my halfling bounder just in time. Oh, nice. Okay, and I gotta put an ally under there. Yes, you do. All right, I'll just put this healer. So that's a two. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was that was a softball. I did lose a willpower. Well, I mean, if I hadn't been able to cancel, I would have raised my threat by like ten there. So. Oh, that's true. Uh, eleven looks like. <laughs> that's true. All right. Thank you, Bounder. And if we hadn't canceled the first uh, Frozen by Fear, I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it anyways. That's true. Those, those two in a row are pretty deadly, actually. <laughs> it would have been pretty bad. Yeah. All right, we make seven progress, which makes us maddeningly one short. Are we one short? I can do Galadriel. I don't think it's worth it, though. We're going to have another chance to clear that? Yeah, I think just slowly, I mean, I've... I think you want to wait and go slowly on 2B, even though it makes you raise your threat by one extra one. Okay. Um, I think going slowly is the way to go here. We have no enemies. Uh, we will as soon as we travel to the Hollow Circle. So that's a good time to do that. I think now is the right time. Yep. The Stone Ring will make them tougher, but we got to go here at some point. Okay, this says... Um... Okay, we're each going to get an enemy. Uh, we got to pick it, though. Yeah. Nope. All right. I'll take the cold white. This guy. Does it say different enemies? Mm, no. Can't draw cards from card effects. Uh, the guy's pretty wimpy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one of them too. Okay. There you go. Turn off hell here. Okay. I will discard a card to ready Gorfindel. Well, I, I don't have Sentinel. I've been digging for it. Oh, I can kill both these guys before they attack if you want me to. Oh, yeah. I think you definitely should kill yours. Do you want me to kill yours or not? I can attack for... Oh, no, because I, I can't snipe with because of Haldir. I can still kill mine with a quick strike, but I can't use the sniping action. Right. Because I engage something. So I... Okay. I, I can't can, kill yours. Let's see. Mine, I'm going to be one... Sh oh, wait, you can help me attack. I can help you attack it. I just can't help you snipe it. That's what I meant. All right, so you're going to quick strike yours. Mm -hmm. and then help me attack. Okay, that works. Quick strike. Defend, exhaust a character and immediately make it a, an attack. So you're going to do that. Uh, yeah, that's going to be him. So and, one, two, and now because I kill him, I can draw a card with uh, Glamdring, and I'm going to play Foe Hammer. Nice. That's four cards. Yeah. It's super thematic. Yes. That is. Hey, look at all those test wheels. I, I might find a use for those. Okay. And then you are defending over there? Yep. Four against five. All right. Nothing. Okay. And I'll help you swing at that guy. Yep. I just needed one. Boom. And kill the guy off in front of me, too? Boom. All right. Uh, glad drill for me. Unless you need it, but... Uh, I'm at 30... I'll be at 33 threat. Okay. I'll give it to you next round if you need it, then. Okay. Uh, I'd like to find another unexpected courage for her so I can do both actions. All right. I raised my threat, the additional. Okay. Same here. Uh, navigator. Nice. I need to find that sentinel. I will pull back an elven light for one. Nope. Uh, let me see. I'll pull back the other. Ah! Dwarven Tomb. And then I'm going to spend one with Dwarven Tomb. Okay. To pull back an Elrond's Council. Okay. It's not a bad call here, actually. Yep. All right, and I'll be playing that at Quest. There we go. 
Boom. Okay, am I first player? I think you are. It says sixth round. Yep. Five, yeah, you are. One, two, six. Uh, so Aon has Strider now, so she has plus two willpower, and uh, she has Protector of Lorien on her, and I, I add another Halfling Bounder. Nice. Strider, yep, five or fewer characters. Okay. Very good. I'm sending 11. Uh, I'm at nine because you have Frodo. Yep. All right. So 20. 20 against one, two, three, four, five, six. We remembered they were boosted, right? That didn't matter. Uh, I would have killed mine. I would have killed mine either way because I had seven attack. Yeah, and I. Had... Uh, you, you, I, I don't know if you'd remember for defense purposes, but I was fine. Okay. He might. No, he was fine. Halder can kill either one of them straight up with because they only had plus one defense there, so they would have been two defense and five hit points, okay. and that's still seven attack, which is what I had. All right, we're only up against six. Uh, which one do you want to quest on? I, I wouldn't mind dropping my threat by five. Okay. Before we move on. All right. Okay, my card. Uh, oh, wait, I have no resources. Uh, well, that one hits me. I don't like that one. I could, I could live with it, but I got three tests of will and we have Frodo, so... Um, I say I... test of will it? Um, or do I do Halfling Bounder so I don't lose one? Oh, right. Uh, I'm going to lose a willpower that way. I think but, we're fine. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dump the Halfling Bounder. Okay. So I'm at eight now. All right. It's a white, a dark white. We only added two threat. We're fine. So okay. we clear the circle. And we clear double back. So we each drop our threat by five. That feels nice. Do we raise ours by an extra one the last round? I think I did, but I can't remember. I'll just raise it by one more just in case. I'm going to do the same. I feel like I've missed it at least some at one point here. So... I don't think it really matters. All right. Probably, probably not. We're doing fine here. Uh, okay. Uh, traveling. Where do you want to go? Stone ring? Yes, please. I'll take this guy. Uh, I I can snipe him with the black arrow. That's up to you. What do you want to do? I'll, I'll kill him. Let me add him. All right. Hey, I was hoping it was that. Yeah. Perfect. That was great. That way we can actually kill him off this round, yeah. All right, and I get a glam drink. Yeah, and I'm going to do Gildor and look at my top three cards. Okay, new round? Yep, sorry about that. Raise our threat. Buy an extra one. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm at 17 now. What am I going to do? I'm at 28. All right, so I'm still digging... All right, I am going to do something that'll be nice and fun. Who's first player, me or you? Oh. Uh, me, I am. Okay, I am going to play Necklace of Girion. So guarded. Stone ring. Okay. We can't get a. We can't get an enemy. Because you could have just no. on the boat. It. Can you take a resource off Frodo for that? Uh, and then, what the heck, let's take another off Frodo for uh, put Song of Battle on Haldir, where it seems like he might be in battle here. Okay. Uh, I got an unexpected courage for Galadriel now. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead and use that action. And I'm just trying to decide which allies to put out here that I'm going to look <laughs> Yeah. I guess Lindor is a good one. Doesn't really matter. Get rid of these two. 
Okay, now I'm to the point where I won't be getting enough, I won't have enough money to even buy the armor if I find it. Well, we've been pretty well without it so far, because I can cancel all of those uh, ones that really mess with me, because I have so many tests of will right now, so I'm not in need of it, because we can pretty much cancel the worst things that would uh, come and attack me. All right, then in that case, Dine's going to be getting some courage. Okay. All right, here we go against the uh, main quest, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, send in Frodo for me. Thirteen from me here. Uh, I'm at twelve, and I'm keeping Haldir back because if we move on, are we going to move on this round or not? I doubt it. We have to make okay. Then, then I'll send him in. So. I'm doing 14. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, if you're doing 14, we might. That's a lot. Oh, we got options if we move on. Okay. Card number one. Uh, oh, it's your favorite. <laughs> Card number two. All right, so we added five more. Brings us to 11. I make two. And so 16 goes through. Uh, so that leaves us one short. Uh huh. Do we want to kill it? Do we want to clear it? I feel like we can. Hands upon the bow. There it is. All right, that gives us the extra willpower needed. I get a glam drink card. Okay, and we move on. I have no ready heroes. <laughs> All right, when revealed, the first player adds standing stones. Okay. Uh, each other player reveals an encounter card. This is this is your card, then. And each copy of Great Barrow into the encounter deck. All right, this is mine. Okay, fun. Now, all those get shuffled in. Plus the yeah. discard pile, right? Does it say plus the discard pile? Or... Oh, yes, it does. Okay, yep. Okay. Okay, we did that. Okay. Okie dokie. After a player is eliminated at any stage, raise the threat of each player at that stage by 10. Okay, well, we're not going to let that happen. We can't defeat the stage unless each player in the game is at the same stage and Standing Stones is in the victory display. If we defeat the stage, we win. Standing Stones! We travel there. Search the encounter deck discard pile victory display for a great barrow. And we add it to the staging era area. Uh, okay, so I I am first player right now. Uh, I am the better person to go into the barrel because I'm not going to lose all my allies. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> uh, would we like to go to Sanding Stones now? Yes. Yes, we would. Okay. All right. So give me my barrel. Give me my barrel. <laughs> Give me this barrel. I got no ready characters, but I can do this because I can do actions. Uh, so that goes in the staging area for you, and I get a stage 4A. So. All right, what's happening? Then suddenly, Haldir knew he was imprisoned, caught hopelessly. He was in a barrel. <laughs> When revealed, end your quest phase, which we weren't in. Are we still in the quest phase, actually? No. We, yes. No. Whatever we were. We travel. Okay. Travel, yeah. Uh, discard cards from counter deck until a white enemy is discarded. Working on it. My hotkeys are being very slow. There we go. Oh, good. Uh, so he goes to the staging area, and then I would discard all allies uh, except for X. Uh, and X is the number of enemies engaged with you, which at the moment is zero. So if I had any allies, I would discard them. Barrow White is in my staging area and not engaged with me at the moment. Yep. And my threat is at uh, 16, so I don't have to engage him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I could faint him if he did engage, but I don't need to. Okay, when a location is revealed at the stage, you're going to cancel its effects and discard it. Then raise your threat by that card's threat. After you defeat the stage, you advance to stage 3B at the beginning of the travel phase and place one progress on a great barrow. So the goal here is to not reveal another one of these stupid things. Right. 
All right, so I'm going to engage this other one. Okay. We are at separate stages. You are at your own stage three. Yep. I'm off in my own barrow, so we can't affect each other in any way. That's right. Uh, let's see. Can I kill this thing? You are defending with your willpower, keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah, I think, actually, during this uh, during the travel phase, I'm going to discard the Linden Navigator to ready Glorfindel. Okay. Are you sure you want to... Uh... Engage it? Yeah. Okay, it's got plus uh, one of everything with the stone ring out there. So I just need eight? You would need eight attack to kill it, and he's attacking you for six. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. I got this. All right. I mean, he's attacking for six. Oh, he's attacking for six. And you're defending with your willpower. Let's see if I win. Okay. Let's, let's live dangerously. I'm just <laughs> okay. three. three against six. Here we go. For he is a jolly good fellow. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think I'll be shuffling in my discard pile. All right. And I'll swing back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yay. All right. All right. Was there a doubt? I wasn't worried. I was a little worried. <laughs> okay. Uh, new round? Yep. Okay. I am going to play this Darren's Runes that I've got. Oh, I got my armor. Right when it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know, yeah. I was hoping I could get this necklace of gear on before I went into the barrel, but... I can't wait to get it. Didn't happen that way. I'm gonna put my location control right now. <laughs> You're gonna get it from me. <laughs> no. no. I don't have any location control. My necklace. All right, Galadriel. For me, we don't do the uh, th extra threat at the end of the round because we're no longer in stage two. Yay! So that's nice. Mm. I'm just I'm gonna just hope I don't get a barrel. And I feel well prepared down here. Okay. Yeah, you're sitting pretty good. I'm discarding two cards so I can play Eladan. Uh, so, important note here, uh, so, uh, this is on the campaign card. You are playing campaign mode while any player is at stage 4B, which is me right now. The first player cannot lose control of the first player token, so I am still first player with Frodo. Well, he's basically, a special. Basically, it says Frodo is not going to escape the barrel without... Uh, He's not going to run out of the barrel and go to the other player right. while the rest of the team is stuck down here. Right. All right. Well, I'm just going for Progress City. Is anything stopping me from placing Progress? Um, but you go first. So if you if you make your nine Progress, you join me, right? Progress cannot be placed here while Great Barrow is in play, which it is. Crap. All right. You're right. All right. So you're just questing to get over it, and this is where if you had a side, another side quest out here, you could go at it. Uh, but right, right. But no. So, um, you want to send in Frodo for me? Yep. And I am going to play Hands Upon the Bow. Good card. And that will snipe this Barrow White for me. Woo! Glamdring. Yeah, Glamdring. Uh see here okay and then so let's see six plus oh yeah i don't need to send in hal there i'm good uh two four, six, eight what am i doing i'm doing 12. i can't count but i'm doing 12. <laughs> your card uh i'm just gonna cancel it yeah then you don't have to yeah that does nothing then at all. Yep. Obviously. All right. So you make nine progress. Yep. All right. Got out. Hey, buddy. Hi. You immediately me? you immediately join me, right? Uh, no, you have to do your quest phase. Uh, I gotta read this. After the stage is defeated. At the beginning of the travel phase. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That, that's the part I was missing. So I'm technically still at four B until you yep. uh, finish your quest phase.
All right, I'm going to send 15 and assume that's enough. So I'm up against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 15 against 9. I have to make 4. I have, I have a trick. Here we go. Okay. I'm glad I'm not there for that one. Discard all resources in play. Uh, I just raised my threat by four. Kind of sucks though, because it really. I was planning on playing Lords of the Eldar if I needed to, but now I mm. obviously because <laughs> I lost all my money. Should but be. now you don't need to. Yep. So um, I make six progress. So that's good. I cleared that. That's all I could do, right? How much did you raise your threat by? None, because I forgot. One, two, three, four. There. Okay. So uh, that's victory display. Okay. Okay, so we are now at travel phase, so I join you. And we immediately and I'm the progress here. On the Great Barrel, that's victory display as well. And I get to pick where to travel to. <laughs> um, let's go to this stone ring with my necklace under it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get your bling bling. That's right. All right, I think that's it. Uh, I think that is it. Okay, now I'm going to play two copies of Shadow of the Past to make sure we don't get a great barrel. I'm kidding. Hey, test the will. Oh, good. Thanks, one turn too late. All right. <laughs> uh, your first player. You finally get to be first player again. Oh, that's so amazing. Frodo missed you. Yep. All right. Uh, discard a card. I might have forgotten to have done that a few times. You know, I think at 34, your threat is getting dangerously high. Do you want to use Galadriel over there? Sure. I just okay. put Kindle on, finally. So, yeah. You know. Good. Oh, and One I, good turn deserves another, right? right? I just drew another copy of it. All right. Um, I'm going to do to C to the C and discard one, two, and play the brother and keep a resource for a test of will. Okay. I'm going to put uh, Keep Watch out here. Oh, wait. I also want Lemus on somebody. Who wants Lemus? Uh, mm, uh, I'll put it on Aeon. Yep. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. All right, we got the brother. Oh, there we go. I was going to put that out there. Rivendell Bow. Yeah, why not? So he's got eight attack now when necessary. All right, no Great Barrel. Yeah, for now. That's what we don't want. All right. We're ready? Oh, well, we got a quest first, yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, six, seven, eight. I got 12. I have 20. We're up against one, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. Let's do it. That was your card. Yep. All right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Five more. So we're 10. I make 10, 22 total. Oh, look at that. You got your necklace. Yay. Are we short by, are we clear or not? Oh, yeah, we got it. Yeah. Okay, excellent. We had extra, we had we had room to spare. Yeah. There you nice. Go. Drill. Have your bling bling. I was actually for AON. Here you go, AON. <laughs> bling bling. Haldir might like it too. And they you know they're they can share. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there you go. That was a cruise to victory. Yeah, but you, you teched against it well, and we made sure the right person went into the barrow, and we canceled the crap that would have totally wrecked us. Yeah. It, it, it could have got us if we didn't have the right cards in hand. I've, I've been gotten by this quest before. It, it's rough. Me too. It, it'll just hit you, and you're just like, okay, well, <laughs> I was losing that one. Let's do our MVPs. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's Glamdring. Yeah, that was pretty clutch. I am going to go with... You know what I, I 
I would actually say Galdor was. Because you didn't get the starting hand you wanted at all. And his ability to draw six cards got you going quickly enough. That's true. Because then I... Basically, the mulligan let me get down to where I could find Reforged. Right. And we forgot that we had old bogey stories. You could have done that, too. Right. Uh, but Galdor's ability, just to get you those extra cards when you got off to a bad starting hand for what you were looking for, uh, that was pretty key for you. I agree. Yep. Yep. He he, uh, he did what he was supposed to do. Like, what was it? Turn two, I think. I re- or two, Turn two or three, I redrew all my cards. And then I never looked back. Because by then I had every tool in the toolbox ready to go. Yeah. The ability to play a guarded card right away in this game and have a round to actually deal with just that card, that's just a gorgeous way to get powerful cards into the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Glam Dring, once I've got that, I've got two attack, I'm sniping things, and I'm drawing cards every time I do it. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Yep. Ah, I love this deck I've been playing. <laughs> it's so much fun. You feel like you got all these options all the time. Because it's like your discard pile is just such an extension of your hand with this deck that you feel like you're playing with two hands. Mm-hmm. And dying. God, he's good. No, we didn't even use him this game. No. I only defended like two or three times. It's because Haldir was ready to go on right away but another one of my favorite heroes yeah i got a fantastic starting hand you did all the weapons i wanted guarded card i got a test of will right away to keep myself safe look at this we still had basically four feints counting mr underhill <laughs> we, we weren't really in danger so we definitely earned the uh ho tom bombadil yeah flip over the we've just earned it it's our... we earned it now yeah and whether you agree with my argument at the beginning about when you should get it or not, we didn't use it this game, so we've got it now for sure. Um, it's just a once of one of for the whole campaign. So yes, it is. It, if you decided to use it this quest, well, it's done. You don't get it. Yeah. It's not like we were going to use it this game and then next and next and next and next. It's just a one of, not like Mr. Well, you or just might need it in this quest. Yep. So many things you have to cancel. Well, the next quest is true nightmare. Yeah, we're back to Nightmare. We're actually back to a Nightmare. i got to figure out what kind of deck I want to do for that. Um, I'll yes. I'll have to look at what's in there and then see what the challenge is. I know there's a lot of enemies early on, uh, and they're smaller, so Haldir should be pretty good for that. But then we get the rush of enemies at the end, and there's going to be just a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Well, that's they, dying and some Sentinel and a bunch of Unexpected Courage is probably going to come. Yeah. yeah. I think the other big thing is that we can't... Um, there's, I think there's... Uh, Bill Fernie is immune to player card effects. Is that a change with Nightmare Mode? I think, yeah, it's Nightmare Mode. I think that's what it is. So, so that's going to be uh, interesting figuring that one out. Because then you pretty much just got to get somebody's threat up there and then bring it back down again. Yeah, I usually do Hail of Apples and just peg them to death. <laughs> Hail of Apples? Well, <laughs> more thematic than Hail of Stones. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well, cool, man. This was fun. I'm glad we were able to sneak in the game. Yeah. Well, we can try this again next week with Nightmare when I've just had a a root canal. It'll be great. That sounds good. Yeah. Good. Hopefully I'll have a new driveway by then since mine decided to cave in. That's good. Fair. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a good one. All right. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.